Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series here on the YouTube channel. We're playing a new mod pack here. It's called Volcano Lock. We're playing it with our good friend Segabolt. And we were recorded just the first part of a bit ago. And we'll get to that here in a minute. But first, let's just start here by saying that this is the first real series I've ever done here on this YouTube channel. So I think this should be really fun. And I hope it lasts for a long time. This is a quest book mod pack. Uh, as you can see, there's five chapters plus a bonus section. We did a lot of work on the first chapter, and we'll show and I'll show you here what we did. So let's get started. It's good. Now. I think I think it's time. I think it's time to start a oh brand new boy, series. I'm getting it's a brand new series, the sequel to the I'm most the most popular series ever on the Minecraft the world famous Minecraft YouTuber Segabolt. The sequel to his all time fan favorite Smurge does a oh. mod pack. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! How the quest book works and how that when you do a quest it also counts for me too. Right. Like is in your, this in your partner? Is this all the quests when you look at it? No, there's chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, chapter five, and then a bonus. How do you look at chapters? Um, so do you do you see the top? Do you see on the left side how there's this bar? Oh yeah, now I see chapter one, chapter two, chapter. And two, you're supposed chapter. to go at them in order. You're supposed to finish chapter one, then go to chapter two, then chapter three, then chapter four, then chapter five. Mm. You can start I them, know. but I don't think you're supposed to. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready, kids? <laughs> Well, should I? I'm, I, I'm gonna record the intro first. Oh, you're gonna record the intro first? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I have no fear. <laughs> I have no fear of recording intros later. <laughs> I had to re record it because the first time I did it, I called it Lava Block. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> it's Volcano Block. <laughs> so the first quest here is we're going to need to um, obtain some player flesh. And you get that. Sounds. Okay. Yeah, it sounds, sounds pretty good. Um. So, so we have the cannibalism mod installed. Ow! That's not how you Didn't do it. <laughs> um, uh, so we have the cannibalism mod on this pack here, and uh, basically you're only going to run on- I think you only want to right click once. Or, no, it's not working. Uh oh. Is it left click? No. We're so great. Oh, ow. What the heck? <laughs> what was that noise? Shift right click once. Oh, there you go. Alright. So now do you have- uh, how much flesh do you have right now? Ugh. Doesn't it look tasty? Ugh. Does it? Okay, how much? How, how much flesh? None. None? No, 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 no! Be careful, be careful, be careful! You don't want to do it too much because then it'll summon a boss. All right, well. All right. Three flesh. All right. So basically, what you do now is, in order to complete the quest, we need to craft some bone meal. And if you look at the recipe, it says you can craft it by taking one piece of player flesh and putting it in your crafting window and you'll get three bone meal. Yeah. And then, did it. there you go. Quest completed. So it begins. And then I can kebab. claim that. And then I get some meat kebabs. <laughs> Very delicious. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's our first quest done of many. So now we have tons more to yeah. go here. So see, we got all of these. Make to a go. hoe. Yep. Now we need to make a hoe. So how sticks? do you... How do we get sticks? Let's find out. Um... So click on the King sticks. Grass will occasionally drop sticks. Block drops. It says sticks. Okay. That's not the right type of grass you're looking Made for. Made a mistake. <laughs> That's not the right type. You oh, gotta I see. Oh, I bone see. meal yes. the grass. Whoa. Normie seeds. Oh, we have normie seeds in this pack? No, what those are. A special type of seeds. Have you gotten any sticks yet? Because I haven't gotten any sticks yet. Have not. Oh, got, got sticks. Got sticks. Got sticks. We did. Yeah, I got two. All right, nice. Uh, we need three though. Oh, there's the third. I got the third. All right. We have your mom. <laughs> All right. So now that we have your mom, um, we can claim three meat patties. I'm loving it. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Not copyrighted. Don't copyright me. Don't uh, copyright. Let's see if we can get that ground meat. Hmm. Okay, that's something later. All right. Now we need to uh, click a check mark. So now we need to get oh. art, art, it's a seed. So now take your normie seeds that you got, your four normie seeds. They look like melon seeds. And then just put them in a two by two. So now we should probably start planting some of these said crops. So I'm going to plant these art, it's a seeds because I can speak. And then uh, I'm going to plant some flax seeds because you can use this for food. Um, let's see now. Planted the normie seeds. All right. So the quest book is kind of your guide to how you play this because it can get very confusing and we do have the twerk crop growth 
in this, but or not for quark. Yeah, twerk quark. So yeah, I think you just hold it down. Uh, hold it down. Hold down shift. Oh yeah, you do. They changed. This is a different one. All right, so then we got some flax here, and flax gives you strings. So if you need to make like bows or fishing rods, not very useful here. But if you want to, you can get uh, bows and stuff with this. And you can oh, you can also make wool for beds. However, we're in the Nether, so we're not gonna be using that. <laughs> but yeah, we'll just explode. <laughs> mm -hmm. Crispy. Uh, let's see. Next thing, it wants us to make potatoes. Oh, <gasps> potatoes! <laughs> um. So let's see. How do you obtain potatoes? Uh, oh, it says it, they drop from grass, so we need to grow some more grass. I would really like to get a block to fix that hole in the ground, because I'm so going to fall in there. Oh, I feel bad about that. <laughs> well, this is not the biggest deal. Also, hmm. um, while you do that, uh, keep farming those, because we need to get some potatoes. I'm going to figure out how to make a crafting station. Yeah, I don't know how to do the wood part yet. Oh, harvest an Arisa plant, acquire a crafting table. Oh, okay, so look at this thing over here, this plant. This, I think... Is, yeah, this is a crafting table plant. This drops crafting tables? Yeah, and then you craft those into a crafting station, and since fire tick is off, I can place that there. <laughs> it's now nice. a crafting table. What you do to these flowers? They're like cursed oh, I haven't flowers. gotten a potato oh, yet. We got, a sugar, we got some sugar cane. Let me look at the crafting recipe. I have five bone meal, but I'm just gonna double check to see if there's any other way to get potatoes. We don't have a chemical binder. We don't have a mana table. We don't have potato plants. We don't have a zombie. Uh, or a tainted villager soul. And we don't have mutation paste. <laughs> Alright, so it's bone meal it is. <laughs> Alright, this is just kind of a side quest, by the way. So it's not like 100% we need to do it to continue. We need potatoes, Phil. I know we need potatoes, but also there's gonna be some other food later on that we can get from the quest. Like, um, also, do you have uh, two sticks that I can use to make a drying basin? Yes. Okay. I need a bone meal. Alright, so keep keep your bone meal in. Just, okay, for drying items and fluids. Alright, so now we have a drying basin. Oops, I placed it in the middle. <laughs> and so now we need to get in oak bucket since there's uh you can't get iron in the early game in this so you have to get it from three sticks but i'm gonna start going on these crops here because we need some wheat like a potato drop and then it just falls into the lava that's what i'm afraid of um be so sad that finally we don't have a way to make blocks yet so we can't yeah. like protect the outsides not yet we will get yeah, them yeah. soon I can make the bucket now. Okay, nice. So it's just in the shape of a normal bucket. I have no bucket. Okay, nice. So you're not going to want to use that yet. I'm, I'm going to make the hay bale. Oh, oh. You know, when I, when we had the idea for this series, I didn't think our first episode would be about stabbing ourselves to get potatoes. No, I didn't either. I didn't know that it would take so long to get potatoes. The thing that we're going to make in this series came from our flesh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I crafted a hay bale, and now the quest has been completed. And we get some more bone meal, so now here's some more bone meal. Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> There's 11 more bone meal for you, and then you can also get some too. Here, take a look at the way that we can expand our island. <laughs> crafting table expansion. <laughs> yeah, crafting table. Woo! All right. Um, what does uh, the drying basin do? Drying items and fluids. All right. Can I put this in here? No, it doesn't do anything. Okay. What about seeds? Uh, nope, that doesn't work. Okay. Well, mm, I don't know what it does. <laughs> what about if I put? Oh! Ah! 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 Ah, no! You do! No. <laughs> okay, I discovered a cool mechanic of the mod. <laughs> um, what? Our uh, basin! Oh, the basin, Gilbert! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> okay, here. I discovered you can make a charred bucket. <laughs> <laughs> you just burned our bucket. Wait, it's gone. No, I, I picked it up. Um, So you can't put lava in there, okay? So it's realistic, at least. Um, That's cool. All right. Keep farming those potatoes and don't punch me off. Do not punch me off. Okay. And, uh... Alright, so we need another basin. 
So what happened is, to the other one, uh, Phil? <laughs> it, it, it caught on fire. Modded Minecraft is about learning. <laughs> and I learned oh. today a lot. I learned how to get potatoes. Crafty plants. Plants. You picked it that up a crafting table from the plants. I see a seed. Hmm. Interesting. I need to plant some more me seeds. <sighs> Where are the potatoes? We finish the trine basins, we get more bone meal. Grass blocks. Crafted with wheat. Oh, okay. I Do you have any sticks? Because I just figured out how we can get water. Oh, sticks. Wait, I have a potato in my inventory! Oh, when did I get this potato? Going? I'm gonna have to check the footage. I got the potato at some point. <laughs> bone meal, bone meal. I got a potato at some point. Also, we can't smelt them, so we can't complete the quest yet. <laughs> Look oh, up how to smelt a potato. It's the potatoes in the lava. What? That's what the quest item says. Toss the potatoes in. Okay, throw one potato in so we don't lose them. Just not gonna work. It <laughs> worked! <laughs> no, it didn't. It didn't work yet. It oh. was lit on fire. I think. Throw it and then just leave it. You got a big yeah. potato! <laughs> Let's go. go, that's so cool. And look, we got water, we got water. Look, I made water. You have to have four baked potatoes. Water? Water! Do you have more potatoes? Oh, uh, yeah, here. Burn all three of these. Oh, alright. Okay, uh, we're 25% done on that quest. <laughs> Come so back here, potato. No, the potato. potato's getting away! <laughs> I got it, I got it. Okay. In from me. Oh, I got it again. So cool, I'm gonna do it. Potato! Oh, there. Alright, I got four. I can complete the quest. Alright, nice. Get more bone meal! <laughs> nice, let's go. Alright, so now we're working on our crap, or not for our these. grass quest. Love potatoes. So, yep, let's start harvesting some wheat. wheat. Make sure to replant. And then we need these normie seeds here. Wait, normie seeds give you carrots. Ew. Oh, wait a minute. I think you can get. Potatoes from normie seeds. Oh. Normie see. seeds, I think, give you all the crops, not just uh, beetroots and carrots. Mm -hmm. Also, your head is very shaky. I know, yours is too. I think it's because we are at a specific Y level in the nether. Maybe it's just because we're shivering with anticipation because of this new series. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Also, you can right click it to harvest it. You don't need to break it. I've been doing it wrong the entire time. Yep, you can get potatoes from uh, normie seeds, so we just wasted so much of our time. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> uh, grass blocks quest completed. All right. So we now need our our it's uh, seeds. So what we need to do for I that? I have one of those. Okay. Um, basically they're from normie seeds. So if you take normie seeds in a two by two, you'll get them. So I have six our yeah. it's a seeds. How many do you have? Two. Okay, so we need one more. So this is the normie plant here, so I'm gonna take out some- Oops, I've made a mistake. I've made mistakes. Um, we're gonna take out some of those, and then we'll plant some normie seeds here once these grow. And I have the last seed. Can you give me your two Ar Artitza seeds? Artitza, I should complete the quest. Yep, there we go. Quest complete. We get bone five meal. more bone meal. And now we need colonia seeds. Now, those are... With grass and normie seeds. Yeah, we need five pieces of grass and four normie seeds. So I have... no. I have one normie seed. You know what I just realized? What? Oh. Yeah, we can do that, yes. But we were using it to bone meal. Alright. Alright, let's see this thing in action here. Alright, I've got oh, okay. five grass. And then... Oh, it ate it. Whoa. One, two, three, four. Oh, there it is. Generating cobblestone. Cobblonia. We got cobblestonia, cobblonia seeds. That's so yeah, cool. cool. All right. So now we should make a different area of our island for cobblonia seeds. Cobblestone yeah. seeds. Yeah, okay. But we can't do that quite yet. We need to make an... Okay, so I need to... So remember that oak bucket that I burned? I made another one. So now we have a real oak bucket. And then I made this drying basin here with your help. Okay, so I have this oak bucket. And now we have water in here. So I'm going to grab this. That completes that quest. So now we can make 
cobblestone. Because we complete that. And then now the cobblestone quest unlocked. And now it says Cobblonia will emit cobblestone once it's fully grown and has lava on one side and water on the other side of its dirt patch. Mm, so we have to make it. We have to make like a specific type of area for it. Yeah, and it says that I can just use it here. And then we're gonna need to break that. And I'm gonna be alone for a minute. <laughs> Um, Alright. Ah! Okay, um, uh. hmm. I've made mistakes. I've made mistakes. <laughs> yeah, you can just place it. Oh yeah, we can make obsidian! <laughs> well, let's go! <laughs> we can infinitely expand! <laughs> the island is huge now. Yeah. We can't grow anything on it. What do you mean? We can't grow anything on obsidian, because it's obsidian. <laughs> oh, wait, I got carrot charcoal. Heck is that? More charcoal. Did you burn all of our carrots? <laughs> Do I have potatoes? Do, do you have potatoes? Oh no, I have, the, I have the potatoes. I have the potatoes. Potatoes as well. Okay, well we can hydrate our land. Wait, I have crafting tables. These don't burn. I'm kind of scared of losing this seed. So... Um, gonna... We have to take a quick break from all this speed running. Come over here. We gotta enjoy something real fast. One second. Got it. I have gobblestone. Okay, yes, yes. Oh, Ready? yes, right, yes. Break. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is this is gonna be the moment of the series, though. Like, this is what we'll do. All bouncing. I have eleven of my own. Some potato. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I have to collect them all. <laughs> yeah, now they're just gonna bounce around for forever. Come back. Please come back. We want you. Okay, that one's just. He's back. gone. He's gone. He, he left gone. us. Yeah, they're out. <laughs> he's he's skedaddled. Potatoes will forever leave us. Uh, okay, this is so cool. No more cobblestone generators, because I don't like those that much. Alright, I'm gonna make my... bouncing over there. Wait. Okay, stop shifting and see if it stops. Okay, good, it does, because I was worried it was gonna cause, like, a problem. Alright, and now we can make stone tools. Do they have actual durability? They do. Alright, um... And stone swords. Alright, so now we have stone tools and swords. And this guy is still out there. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, we still don't have any wood. Oh, we can make primitive storage. Cobblestone chests. That's what I'm making. That's what I'm making. Cobblestone. Okay, so yeah. Hate it. Let's see it. Let's see it. I have to make two of them for the quest. One oh, of them for Jerry and one I of them for I know what storage. you did. You tried to craft, like, a chest, but, like, cobblestone, and you made a furnace, didn't yeah. you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see so it. So this can be Jerry's shrine. Jerry Shrine. There he is. Once we get an anvil, I'll rename him to Jerry. Alright, then actually then place the chest the down actual... because we, I have yes. so much garbage. <laughs> uh huh. No, I. Carrot charcoal is so bad. I'm gonna use this hoe here, and I mean, I'm gonna put your mom as front of fuel in a furnace real quick. <laughs> Alright, so we almost have our four beetroot charcoal. And there we go. All right, so that will complete make an area for bone mealing. Furnace quest. All right, so that quest is done. That quest is done in a volcano. Yeah. All right, so now I have did, a, uh, grass blocks. Yeah, I, I got some from quests. Here you go. All right, so we need some sticks, and then we're going to need to make it so we can. Let's see, what do we do here? So next up, we're going to need to make a stone hoe. And it says, easier sticks. At this point, if you're having trouble getting sticks, you can make heavy shears, harvest grass, plants with them, and craft them into sticks. Alright, so we need to craft heavy shears, it says. Alright, so heavy shears from Hearthwell. Heavy ingots. How do you make those? The heck? <laughs> heavy mixed lump. Alright, we need, oh, beet charcoal, stone, and dirt. Alright, so in order to make heavy shears, we need two ingots, and we need one heavy lump. Okay. Didn't work. Let's let's check double check the recipe here. All right, so you need one artsisa seed, four string, and four carrot charcoal. Oh, four carrot charcoal. I put it in five. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's your problem. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, I need beetroot charcoal. I said I need beetroot charcoal. You did oh. it. Mosaic he double hockey stick. <laughs> <laughs> Excelsius shoots. All right, what does it like this? What does it do? I did it. But what does it do? Also, my beetroot charcoal is very gone. So now I have the heavy ingots, by the way. And now we have heavy shears. So now that we have heavy shears, 
we can get some grass. I'm gonna need some bone meal and go over here to this grass. And then I can get shears from the grass. And then it says I can just craft them. Yeah, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey! Let's see. High on the golden rods. No idea what this does, but I made it. Let's start. I'm gonna make some torches for some quests here. How do you make the torches? Because we don't. There's no way to get charcoal or anything, um, right? Or do you the, use the charcoal carrots? The charcoal carrots or beet charcoal. Or charcoal. <laughs> Second wolf, I have some ladders for you. <laughs> oh. For, do I for, build the staircase? Yeah, for completing that quest, you get ladders. So now you have a stack of ladders. <sighs> All right. So I can here. So there's some string. How do you make black and bone meal? Oh, it's just you put uh, bone meal and lava. Makes sense. Male dance party. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so we got the black and bone meal. Black and bone meal can be acquired by. Okay, yeah, but what does it do? Alright, information. The remains of another world creature crushed into a fine pow powder. Whether or not one believed it into evil before is irrelevant. For now, it's certain to exist in this pile in the palm of your hand. Alright, so what is it? I don't want to. I'm scared to use it. <laughs> want to use it oh okay so claim that quest and then look at the next quest with the golden rod it's a fishing rod but for lava so you take three of the golden rods and then some magma string and then magma string is the black and bone meal and then the string itself four steps ahead of you i just made it <laughs> oh okay well do you have three golden rods or no oh, well, i just made it though oh okay yeah like I'm fishing. Oh, what? What, what, what'd you catch? What'd you catch? Oh, I, 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 I caught a combustive cod. Wait, give it to me. I want to see it. Let me see. It's in this. water to cool down. Cool him down. Cool him off. Just a cooled cod. Wait, let me. See. Can I? Can I see the rod to fish? Cause I want to see this. Oh, it's like really good food. Here. That's like really, really good food. So, yeah, it does look like I'm fishing. Yeah, see? that is weird. Yeah. Okay. So I think if I angle it, if I angle it right, then it looks like you're fishing. Yeah. So I think this might actually be a good way of getting food, because like, the cooled cod has like four hunger haunches and then six saturation bars. Yeah. Sorry, I'm always a potato boy. I know. Yeah. Back. No, get it. Get it. Get it. I got it. Nice. Okay. Um. Yeah. So now we just need to um. I need to make some charcoal. Here's some carrot charcoal. The crushing block. Uh, yep, that's what I'm working on right now. Alright, so... Do to help with the crushing block? Alright, let me see what I need to do. So for the crushing block, uh, can you craft another furnace? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna need... Over here, in the craft table. That is not the crafting table. I need 12. Works. Okay, so I'm gonna need to put that in there. If there's a recipe that you want to remember, let's say for the heavy ingot, if you hover over it and press A, it will show up on the left side here and it'll be like a C. saved item. We got the crushing block. Quest complete. Let's see. Okay, so we got the Book of the Well, first edition. All right, so this is a guidebook to the Hearthwell mod. Oh, it's it's similar to uh, Thomcraft. It looks like very similar to Thomcraft. Ooh. All right. I think next episode we're gonna get into the Hearthwell mod, but this um, crushing block is important. So the crushing block can squish things down into something else using gravity. Right click. Oh, whoa, look at this. Look at this. What the heck? <laughs> look at this, look at this. Like I think a little I just, baby. I think I just found a thumbnail. Well, yep, yep, that's perfect. Oh, oh, yeah, I got a perfect thumbnail, perfect thumbnail. I just put the item, toss the items on the ground underneath that spot. Aha! Nice job! There you go! Nice! You figured it out. Alright. 
Alright everyone, so that was fun. We played with Sega Bolt there for a bit. So now, we're on our own here. This is how we're going to finish off the episode a bit. We're going to do a few things in the quest book, start to build a little bit of a base, because I want to live in a house, and um, the problem is, is that we don't have wood. And looking ahead in the quest book here, the nearest we can get to wood is here. We need to do this. This is complicated. That'll be what we do in the next episode, or maybe in episode 3. But to finish off with episode 1 here, I want to do the stone dust block quest here. So it wants us to make a stone dust block and then two pieces of glass. And if you look at the recipe for glass, it is smelting stone dust block. Well, to get this, you need stone dust. And we got this stone dust a bit ago from this crushing block over here. So we just need to put this in a 2x2 two two here. And then we get a few of these. And then I put some charcoal chunks in here. Um, and also, I put our cobble, cobblonia seeds in here because every time you would shift, they would like spread out cobblestone and be going everywhere, and I just didn't want that. So if you need cobblestone, you're just going to open up this chest here and then we will place it down. So that's what we're doing with that. And so now I'm going to put the charcoal chunks. These smelt one item, and I think it'll just be easier. So let's put this in here. Now we're going to get glass. So that'll complete this quest. And then Segabolt is going to make these EULA seeds. Um, now... We're going to work on this uh, mis mysterious dust thing next time. That's what we're going to start with. So, yeah. And then, as you can see here, the thing we need to finish is the magmatic, magmatic arrow heater. This is the first power that we'll get. Um, but we need to do all these other things. So, this is what we're going to do in the next episode. But, yeah. So, now we need to start planning out what we should build our house out of. Because we have, like, one material, and that's cobblestone. And dirt. So, I'm going to think about that here, and I'll be back once this is done smelting. And it just finished. Okay. So it looks like you get two of it per each. So quest completed. We get some bone meal here. There's no reward bags in this. It's all just uh, like bone meal and stuff because that's how you're kind of surviving in the early game. Oh, yes. Yeah, so that's all we'll see of the quest book for today. But before we get into building our house, I thought of something we might need here. I want a shelf. We do have a mod called Inspirations, but it looks like they're all wooden shelves. So they have oak, we have rainbow. <laughs> Um, yeah, it looks like it takes slabs. We can't get planks at all. Yeah. We're not going to be able to do that for a long time. Uh, yeah, I don't see any way we're going to be able to do that. Okay. Well, too bad. Alright, so I guess we're just going to have to keep our books in these chests here. Because, uh, these are important and stuff. And they're an important item because it guides us to the mods like Hearthwell, Unique Crops, and then just through the pack in general. Alright, I'm gonna compare I'm gonna prepare some materials here and then we'll get started. Alright, so I figured out that you can get sand in this mod pack. It, right now anyway, if you take some glass, throw it on the ground, take that crushing block we made and drop it on it, and then bang, you get sand. You can't get this otherwise. So it's really, really good that we can get some sand now. And then you can take this and craft it into some sandstone. It's not a good conversion rate, but we have sandstone in the nether. So I think because we're in the early game, I think I'm going to change the house later. I think because we're in the early game, I'm going to build this out of sandstone and cobblestone. And maybe some stone brick. It look, it's going to look pretty ugly, but for now, I think it'll be good. And then once we get, like, wood and stuff, then we'll uh, start by adding on and building some actual pillars and stuff since fire ticks off on this server. So, yeah, I'm going to get started building, and here comes a little building montage. Alright, so the front wall here is uh, almost done. I'm going to add one more layer of sandstone up top. I think I'm going to build these up one more, and then I'm going to put on a roof. I think it's just going to be a flat roof for now, because I don't have the materials to make a fancy roof. But there you go. There's the front half of the building. The facade is done. Inside here, we're going to put some machines and stuff. This is going to be kind of the machine room. And then Segawolt's going to build his own little house over there for the plants and stuff. So this will be the machine area plus my base, and over there will be the plants and Segabolt's place. So I'm going to continue building here, and I'll give you another update soon. <laughs> Nether star ladders. Iron ladders. Hmm. Alright everyone, the house is finished. It is done. 
Alright, look at this here. Uh, it doesn't look the best, I know. But eventually we will be changing it over to some better blocks. Like from the side, it looks pretty, pretty terrible. Because it, it looks good from the front. I, li I like this view. Um, then if you go inside, I think it looks pretty alright. Very, very cobblestone. And um, then if you go up top here, we got a little roof that you can look around at and stuff. I think I might add some stairs here in between episodes, like wrap stairs around this on the edge so it gets a little bit more depth. But yeah, I think that's about it for the house. All right, so now we're gonna focus on the inside of the house here. Uh, to finish up this episode, we're gonna add some machines and stuff in here. We're gonna take the stuff out of here and put it in there. So to start with, I think I'm gonna make a storage area in the back. Now we have three sets of windows here. I'm okay with covering them up a bit. I'm gonna put like the chests in this corner here, some of the machines in this corner, and then some of like the vanilla machines, like crafting table furnace, and then like uh, maybe a chest for stuff over here. Eventually I'm gonna put like some decorations and stuff once we get them, but right now we don't because we're still in the early game. Sega Bolt's gonna probably move this into his house. And the farm stuff will probably create a dedicated area for like like this. This will go into my base if I can pick it up. All right. So we're gonna take the drying basin, and we're gonna put it here on the left side, and that's where we'll keep that. And then I'm gonna move the furnaces, the crushing block. Eventually, we're gonna make a specific area for the crushing block. I would assume because it looks like it has a few important recipes. Uh, we're going to keep the cobblestone and farm stuff out here for now. We might move them eventually, but yeah. So I'm going to get this all set up here, and then we'll wrap it up. Alright, everyone. Well, this was a very productive episode, episode number one. And I hope that this series will last for a while here. But before we wrap up here, I did finish up this area here. I put some furnaces in here, moved all the stuff from out here. It's just the garden stuff left, and then I added a little glass a trap door there where you can drop some stuff in so like we can get some carrot charcoal going. Just drop it in. Oops, you have to stand back. You drop it in, and then there you go, carrot charcoal. So it's really nice and handy. We have like this over here to store charcoal and some books, and I even put a bit of stuff on the roof here. But I would like to thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.